five mysterious locations only women are allowed to visit. We are all aware that in many parts of the world, women are not allowed to visit certain locations due to traditional beliefs, cultural practices, or religious customs. Well, it is surprising that there also exists certain places which are private for women. These places are shrouded in mystery and intrigue, and they have been captivating people's imaginations for centuries. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about five mysterious locations only women are allowed to visit. From the sacred islands of Japan to the matriarchal villages of India, we're about to embark on a journey that will take us to some of the most fascinating and mysterious places in the world. So let's get started. Number one, Amoja Island. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to live in a village where only women are allowed? Well, hold on to your seats as we take a closer look at the Amoja village in Kenya. This sanctuary was founded by a group of women who had suffered violence and discrimination, and it has become a symbol of hope and empowerment for women around the world. So, where is this place? Located in the heart of Kenya, the Amoja village is a unique community where women have found a safe haven and a place to rebuild their lives. The village was founded in 1990 by a Samburu woman named Rebecca Lolosoli, who herself had been a victim of violence. She wanted to create a place where women could come together, support each other, and live free from fear. One of the most striking things about the Amoja village is that no men are allowed in. This is to create a safe space for women to heal and grow without fear of abuse or discrimination. In this village, women run everything, from the businesses to the construction of homes and the defense of the community. It is a unique society where women have built a self-sufficient and sustainable way of life, and they have even created their own currency. The bonds between the women in the Amoja village are incredibly strong, and they have created a sense of sisterhood that is rare to find in today's world. They support each other through their struggles, celebrate their successes, and work together to build a better future. Men are allowed in the surrounding villages, but they must respect the rules and traditions of the Amoja village. Number 2. Okinoshima in Japan have you ever heard of a mystical island where only women are allowed to visit? The island of Okinoshima in Japan is a sacred place where the gods are said to reside. It's strictly off-limits to men, and women who visit are believed to be granted a special blessing. Can you imagine what kind of secrets this ancient island holds, and what kind of rituals and worship took place there? Well, the island of Okinoshima is located in the Sea of Japan and is believed to be a site of worship and ritualistic practices dating back to ancient times. Women are the only ones allowed to visit this sacred place, and they must follow strict rules to ensure that they show respect to the gods and the island's history. The island is so revered that it has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One of the most intriguing things about the Okinoshima is the mystery that surrounds it. Visitors are not allowed to take anything from the island or reveal what they see or experience there. The island's history and rituals are shrouded in secrecy, and it's believed that only women can fully understand the island's spiritual significance. But why are men not allowed on the island? It's believed that the gods residing on the island are male, and allowing men to visit could offend them. The island is also considered a symbol of purity, and men are seen as impure due to their association with death and impurities. Visiting Okinoshima is a unique experience that offers a glimpse into the ancient traditions and beliefs of Japan. It's a chance to connect with the past, and experience a culture that values spirituality and reverence for the gods. Number 3. Lutheran Hotel The concept of a hotel with no men allowed is undoubtedly intriguing, especially in a country like Saudi Arabia, where women face numerous restrictions and limited freedoms. The Lutheran Hotel provides a much-needed haven for women in the area allowing them to relax and unwind in a safe and comfortable space. 
The fact that the hotel is owned by 20 princesses and receives support from seven princes and the city's governor's son shows that even with conservative societies, there are people who recognize the importance of empowering women and providing them with the resources they need to thrive. However, the existence of the Lutheran Hotel also highlights the ongoing issues of gender inequality and discrimination that persist in many parts of the world. The fact that women require a separate space to feel safe and comfortable is a reminder that much work still needs to be done to create a more equal and just society. As for staying at the Lutheran Hotel, it would be undoubtedly a unique and memorable experience. The luxurious amenities and all-female staff would make for a relaxing and enjoyable stay. And the knowledge that you are supporting a business that is breaking down barriers for women is empowering. However, the fact that such a hotel is necessary in the first place is a sobering reminder of the challenges women face in many parts of the world. Number 4. Duke's Hotel Located within the Duke's Hotel in Dubai, the Duchess floor is a luxurious escape that is dedicated solely to women. The idea for this floor came from the managing director, who was inspired by her own travels and felt that there was a gap in the market for a luxury hotel that catered specifically to women. The result is a stunningly designed floor that is full of gorgeous fabrics, huge windows, and lavish amenities. One of the unique features of the Duchess floor is that it has a private elevator, ensuring that women can feel safe and secure during their stay. There are also champagne and tea lounges where guests can relax and unwind in a luxurious setting. The floor boasts 20 rooms, all of which have incredible ocean views, providing guests with a breathtaking experience. The attention to detail in the Duchess floor is unparalleled, and the luxurious features and amenities make it one of the most desirable places to stay in Dubai. It is a true sanctuary where women can feel pampered and indulged, with everything they need at their fingertips. And the final place on our list as our number 5 is the Nueva de Cordero. Have you ever heard of a town where men are forbidden from living? Well, welcome to Nueva de Cordero, Brazil. The city's name translates to Bride of the Lamb, and it is a place where over 600 women call home. But why are men not allowed to live here? The town was founded in the 1890s as a refuge for women who faced excommunication from the Catholic Church after leaving her forced marriage. Accused of adultery, the situation was dire, and the town was her only sanctuary. Fast forward to today, and Nueva de Cordero is still exclusively for women, with only the sons of residents allowed to stay until they turn 18. Then they are expected to find a new place to live. However, there have been a few exceptions made for some men who agreed to live by the women's rules. Can you imagine what it would be like to live in a town entirely run by women? Nueva de Cordero is a place full of beautiful things and a feminine touch. It's a unique experience that can't be found anywhere else. The town is a true reflection of the strength, resilience, and power of women, and it has become a symbol of the freedom and independence that women can achieve when given a chance. So, what do you think? Would you like to visit Nueva de Cordero, a town where women are the rulers and men are not allowed? It's a fascinating concept, and the town's history is one of empowerment and liberation. And that brings us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give the video a thumbs up. That's all we ask. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know which of them is your favorite, or if we missed anything and be sure to tune in for our next video. Finally, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. See you next time.